also when we're doing a comparison between the H10 down here and the Stratus Inficon Detect in my hand. So remember, when we came to that leak, we got that. So that's the Stratus. And you hear it? And it went high. Okay. So they both pick up their leak. That leak's big enough that they both pick it up really easy. So that's not really a great test of which one is better. I'm trying to find a leak so small that one or the other uh, one of these has a hard time picking it up right now. They've been pretty even, but this one, this one is good for walking around and getting something for a distance and picking up something really small. And then if you want to get really close, this is really good too. So I'm still trying to find I've been using this since I was 12 years old and so these H10s have been my favorite and dominant over all leak detectors and even out of the other Infracon models both me and my two brothers have broken many of these units trying to use them other than they were really good when they worked but we can never get one to last more than six months nine months I think we might have got one to last a year and with as much as you having to buy one of these every year gets kind of expensive and uh, this is their newest, latest model, uh, Infracon St uh, Detect Stratus model. So I'm gonna find out how durable this one is. These things last you years or decades. Um, my, old, my dad's old one came with a leather case and it was brand named it under GE, had the uh, licensing for the old H10. It was the original one that you had to plug in the wall. Oh, you can see I'm buying a reference bottle over there. So that's a reference bottle for looking for leaks. So let's move that away from there. Interesting. That doesn't pick up nothing. Maybe that was a fluke. Let's try that again. Okay. Oh, there it goes. Getting faster. Getting faster. Hmm. Okay. So let's get that out of there again. Let's get the detect. This is a calibration reference bottle. Let's put that right there. Hold it there. Let's look at the little gauge. Come on. Get in there. Do something. Oh, wow. Okay. So in that scenario, in this operating condition, with the rep cal calibration reference bottle, the H10 was able to pick up a leak at the side down here by the cap. And the infamous Infracon Detect Stratus was not. So that's a scenario where the H10 wins. That's all until next time, H10 versus uh, Stratus, H10 wins.